Hey, what's going on guys? So, uh, with Series 2 being announced, I figure I'd share my last Series 1 team that I've made that I've had some decent success on Showdown with. It's basically 11 and 2 on the ladder. Um, so I figure, hey, let's uh, make a spicy team, share it uh, for the channel, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Rental code's on the top right-hand side, but it's basically a grass fire water core with Paldan Toros. Paldan Toros surprised me at San Diego Regionals, and it just did so, so well that I just wanted to build a team around it, and in testing, it continued to impress me. It's actually such a solid Pokemon because with an Assault Vest and Terra Steel, it deals with fairy types really, really well. Um, it took, uh, you know, Hyper Voices from Sylveons pretty well, and then uh, we also got the, the Choice uh, Band Palafin here to just do so much damage with Jet Punch. Um, and just basically clean up at the end. Um, so yeah, the core is Grass, Fire, Water with the standard uh, Focus Sash Meows Karata with Overgrow and Flower Trick, and then Backscalibur Terra Water inspired by G-Sock Lee's uh, own Backscalibur. Um, it is adamant with some bulk and some speed, um, not too much speed, but uh, you do have Kill a Watchel there to kind of compensate with that with Tailwind. And then you have Anti-Trick Room with Gallade, and also Gallade is pretty bulky, uh, max speed and then some bulk. Uh, but essentially what, what the Galide does is with Imprison, it stops Trickroom from going up. And it can actually do some pretty cool things with Imprison because it will stop them from being able to protect. So there has been some situations where Galade Imprisoning Protect just flat out won me games because my opponent was denied the option to protect certain Pokemon. So um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and jump into some battles. Uh, timestamps are in the description below if you want to jump ahead to those battles. But uh, without further ado, let's go and jump right in. All right. Alrighty guys, we got our first match into pretty standard stuff. Uh, it looks like Goldengo, Murkrow, Hydreigon, Garchomp, uh, Mousehold, and then the random Cerulege out of nowhere. Um, let's see, definitely want to lead Kilowattro here for Tailwind to match the, um, the Murkrow. And then Palafin to flip turn or maybe hard switch depending on what their leads are. Um, Intimidate looks really good here from the Tauros, but we have to think about how are we going to deal with the Cerulege, right? Um, if it does Terra Grass, I think Baxcalibur has a really good matchup here, also into the rest of his team, with the Garchomp, the Mousehold, the Murkrow, the Hydreigon. Um, so overall, it does really, really good, and I feel like I want to bring Tauros here just to check the, um... Not only just to intimidate everything else, but to also check the um, the Goldango, right? And the Assault Vest helps us take damage from uh, Make It Rain and also resist. Um, so we can just basically switch in and, and take Make It Rain for free. Alright, let's go ahead jump right into this match. As usual, if you guys could uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, yeah, I am going to be bringing a whole lot of more VGC content here. So, here we go. Alright. Merkra Golden Go, pretty standard lead. Um, Kilowattro Palafin. I actually feel very comfortable just flip turning into the. Because uh, we both kind of resist the Make It Rain, right? So I can just actually. I might even just Terrasilize Flip Turn. I think it's a little early to commit to the, to the Terrasilization, so I think I'm just going to Flip Turn onto the Murkrow so that it is a KO next turn. And he might go for a Thunderbolt here, which could be a little scary onto the Palafin. Okay, unfortunate, but... Oh, the Paralysis, too. Yeesh. As long as we don't get full Para, we're, we're chillin'. Yes, okay. Flip turn. That did not do as much as I thought it would be doing. Okay, um, so let's think. Yeah, definitely Tauros has to come in here. Just to pressure the Goldango, and then we also pressure the Murkrow with Electro Ball. Any potential switches that they could do here, let's see. Maybe Cerulege, right? So we gotta be careful about just, uh, wild charging into that spot. Um, Electro Ball should KO here, if I'm not mistaken. Do I want a Raging Bull here, or do I want to predict and go for a Rock Slide? I think I'm okay Rock Sliding here, because it also KOs, or ensures the KO on the Murkrow, but not also that, but... 
if a Cerulean switches in, it's going to take a lot of rock on damage, right? So, and it's not really threatening too much damage onto the rest of my Pokemon, so I'm down to go for that. Yep, and then they do switch out, probably into the Cerulege, if I have to guess. Okay, it's Garchomp. That's fine, too. Wind Power Electro Ball just one-shots the Murkrow. Oh, that's a critical hit, too. I'm very curious if, you know, what that damage calc was without the crit. It's gonna be a little chip damage. That's perfectly fine. Hydrodon comes in. Hmm. I think air slashing into the Garchomp. Uh, fishing for a flinch. And then we definitely want to conserve the Intimidate. Unfortunately, it looks like we're going to have to sack Palafin here. And then that also guarantees that Vax Caliber comes in pretty freely. In hindsight, maybe I should have air slashed into the Hydreigon so that it's in range if I need to. Um, just maybe Icicle Spirit instead. Icicle... I mean, Air Slash is going to miss on, on the Garchomp there. And it misses on Kilowattle too, the, the Dracometer. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we're definitely Terra Water here, because, um... A dragon, I mean, two dragon types, right? It's kind of obvious that that's going to come into the Vax Caliber. Terra Water, and then we could just Ice Shard into the Garchomp and it might KO, but my worry here is that it Terra Grounds and we miss the KO on that, right? So I think we Air Slash onto the Hydreigon, and then we Terra Water, Icicle Spear into the Garchomp. You could also switch out to Golden Go. Flinch would be perfect here if it doesn't. That does so much damage. Okay, as long as we don't flinch. Oh my god, that's awful. That's so bad. <sighs> okay, um, I'm gonna Tailwind again. Does Garchomp protect here though? I don't think it does, right? Alright, do get rid of the Garchomp. This also means that Hydreigon is now trapped at minus two. I do get the knockout onto the Vax Calibre though. So it's Goldengo and Hydreigon against Tauros, which has honestly such a good matchup here. Um, so basically what Tauros can do here is just take out the Hydreigon, assuming it's Assault Vest. And then we're not really too worried about either Thunderbolt or make it rain. So in this situation, we can just finish off the Goldengo at the end. That Intimidate is no value. <laughs> All right, Goldengo comes in. Also, the Wind Power Electro Ball might just completely chunk down the Goldengo so, so much. And then we do have speed control, so close combat into that should be GG. Depends on what the, the terrestrialization is. If this is a Terra Poison, it could be really, really bad for us, but it could also be Terra Steel Golden Go with Make It Rain, which could amplify the damage a little bit, but doesn't look like our opponent pops into terrestrialization. Okay. And the close combat comes out into the Hydreigon. Beautiful. This should be either a Shadow Ball or maybe, I don't know, a Thunderbolt. 
It is make it rain. Okay. All right, and then Tauros just cleans it up with the speed control that we have. Not to mention the special attack drop. Why is there a Galliot in the back just standing? Did you guys see that? I'm gonna screen record that. That is so funny. He's just like T posing in the back. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, Raging Bull. He's just T posing in the back. He's. <laughs> okay, and the opponent four cuts. Excuse me. Perfect. Unfortunately, the paralysis on the on the Palafin made it so that we can't really show its power, right? But. Yeah, Jet Punch pretty much would have um, cleaned up the Garchomp, um, potentially the Hydreigon if it was Terra Fire, and also the Goldengo can't really do much against Palafin. And uh, Palafin, I believe, two hit KOs with Jet Punch, the Goldengo, depending on if it's a uh, bulky nature. So we're gonna go ahead and jump into match number two, okay? Alrighty, match number two into a very interesting team with Salamence, Palmot, King Gambit. Talonflame, Goldengo, and Meowskarada. Okay. So, Kilowattro looks really, really good here. Um, just because we can match Tailwind, avoid Fake Out from Palmot, and then also dunk on the Talonflame later. They don't have Trick Room, so Gallade is a... I mean, we could consider Gallade into the, the King Gambit, right? But um, for the most part, I think Palafin, Kilowattro here. And then I'm possibly thinking the hard switching out, depending if Palmot comes out as a lead or if Goldengo does as well. But probably this is a Goldengo Talonflame lead, if I had to guess. Um, do we need Intimidate here? Probably not because of the King Gambit. We have to watch out because they did kind of make the swap over from Supreme Overlord to Defiant. So actually, hmm, Galad looks okay here. I feel like I do have to bring Tauros because I have to be able to answer the Goldengo as well. And then Meowskarada is decent here, but not the best. Um, we're going to bring back Scalibur to clean up with Ice Shard if we need to. Alright. <laughs> yep, I'm going to play with Goldengo. There we go. Okay, um, Tailwind match, do we just Jet Punch the Talonflame, Terra Water, and KO? I'm just worried about another Thunderbolt and another Paralysis just like before, you know? Do we need Palafin here? I don't think we do, so I'm actually just gonna flip turn. Terra Steel, Terra... Whenever it delays like this, I feel like it's, uh... I feel like a Terrasalization is incoming. It is... Terra Flying? Is he doubling up into Puffin? Maybe he read a swap into the Meow's Garana? Okay, Tailwind. Power Gem. Oh my god, it actually just one-shots us. Wow. Okay, Choice Specs, Power Gem. He is gonna be locked into that, though. And then Palafin can come in, Terra Water, and just start smacking things. Especially that, um... That Talonflame. It doesn't matter that they have speed control, because we have a lot of priority to kind of clean up the game if we need to. Tauros definitely comes in here. And then I'm thinking Palafin on the other side. Okay. Choice band, I'm, I'm gonna Terrastalize here. I'm gonna Jet Punch into the Talonflame, because... I don't want a Brave Bird going into my Tauros. Um, potentially Intimidate could come in here from either Salamence, so... I'm still gonna Raging Bull into the Golden Bear. He's not swapping out, okay. Was that not Choice Specs? I'm so confused.
Alphin. Jet punch. Shit KO here. Bop. Okay. Raging Bull should also KO. There should be a power gem, if I'm not mistaken, into Tauros, which Assault Test should help with that. It's still a three hit KO. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so we still have Dex Caliber chilling in the back for the Salamence. If we can get a Jet Punch, put it in range for Ice Shard, I can put us in just a really, really good spot. Oh, uh, Masquerada. Oof. That's a little scary. I might just want to switch Tauros here. I think if I double up into Meowskarata here, it should be game, right? Baxcalibur easily 1v1 to the Salamence. Depending if it terrestrializes too. No Terra. This should be a flower trick into... Oh, that's a crit. Beautiful. Yeah, that should go down. I wonder what Salamence does here. Dual Wingbeat? Dual Wingbeat could be really, really bad. Does it miss? It misses! Let's go, Tauros! You're so insane. Uh, I remember using Dual Wingbeat back in the day when it came out in the Isle of Armor, and uh, it just missed so much. I hated it. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna win us the game. Doesn't feel super good, right, to win a game off of a miss like that, but in hindsight, I think I could have switched out into Bax Caliber of the Tauros, and that would have been really good. I'm gonna protect just to see. Uh, let's see, what's the Tailwind looking like? Oh yeah, it's the last turn of Tailwind. Um, what kind of um, terrestrialization could he be? Fire, maybe? If I had to guess. I'm gonna Glaive Rush. And I'm also gonna Iron Head. Hmm, because if I miss Rock Slide, how bad of a spot am I in? I think I just close combat here, right? Oh my god, the 1 HP. The Invisible Focus Sash. That does no damage. Glaive Rush should KO here, though. Yeah, as you can see, the bulk on uh, Bax Caliber there just coming in so, so clutch. I don't know if that was maybe a low roll or a high roll, but that's pretty much it. Uh, GG's. Yeah, I think switching out the Paldean Tauros there in that turn for Bax Caliber would have been really, really good to put us in a really good spot to threaten the Meowskarata as well with an Ice Shard, but um, <laughs> unfortunately we got, uh, or rather fortunately, we got a little lucky there with the miss on the dual wing beat um but yeah live and die by the rng am i right guys um that's gonna be it for today's video again if you enjoy it make sure to leave a like and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel uh, rental code again is at the beginning of the video go ahead and scroll back or it's also in the description down below as well as a poke base if you want to test it out on showdown i am going to be making some paradox teams now so uh, super excited about that. I also did book a team building session with Jisok Lee, so I'm gonna ask him and see if it's okay if I kind of document that and record it and kind of show it with you guys. Of course, if it's not okay with him, then we're probably just gonna have to show the team after it's made, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for all the support, guys, uh, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.